this is, it said medium snow. How on earth is this medium snow? Hello all and welcome back to Icarus with me, Ironside McCall, here at Ironside Games. Thank you so much for joining me. And as you can see, I've been a busy little bee from our little wood shack. Um, after that second video, I decided, heh, why not? Let's just start upgrading because the winds and the weather were brutal. And they were demolishing... Oh, speak of the devil and they shall appear. Uh, medium snow, not so bad. But the weather was completely destroying my little wooden hut. So I had to upgrade. And this is what I have done so far. Um, it's it, it's small-ish. I haven't quite figured out. I don't want that gap in the middle. Um, so I need to get rid of that. Go across the top here maybe some somehow. But this is what it currently looks like. And it will be upgraded to... Uh, some glass in there as well and maybe concrete um, but I'm kind of liking the the snow the the stone vibe at the moment um, I'll give you a little tour inside uh, in a moment but let's do the outside uh, we should be able to oh I've just seen there's a big red bar of snow coming uh, so we'll have to go inside at some point but I managed to get two deterrents uh, one and two they are loaded We've got seven hours, almost eight hours before I need to put some more in. That's on both of them, so they are good. And if we look at the map, uh, come on, usually, there it is. Uh, these two orange circles, that's the radius um, of the deterrent zone, the perimeter, if you will, of it. Um, radius, 5,000, 5,000 watt, awesome. So I've got two of them, and I might put another one over here, although I don't really need to because nothing's going to be coming from the back. Um, what was one of the reasons for building next to the cliff, crying out loud? Um, so that happened. I've also got the forge, so I've got rid of the anvil because I no longer need that. All my craftings will be done here. Around the back, I've got some foundations down to extend out the back, just to make it a little bigger. And I will be coming either this side or that side, making it a little L at some point. We're going to have to get inside soon. This is brutal. Uh, a little dick here. Jump up the snow with the fire pit that is staying there. It works quite nicely. Some reinforced railings along the side as well. Now this took a butt ton of iron um, and stone to, to make. But luckily, with Lucky Strike, I went to smash down some big stone boulders and after a few hits I'd had the whole lot it was like eight nine hundred to a thousand stone each time uh, so it did not take me long to gather the stone which was uh, a big bonus here two metal reservoirs uh, both full now they do fill up with rain but rain is few and far between I don't think it works with snow although it might but what you can do is what I've been doing which we have an abundance of here is filling it with ice and then it will fill with ice water now that still isn't purified though so this water will need to go through a purifier um, but for that I've got three water three purifiers here all filled up so I will fill up from there until I get the purifier right let's head inside this is getting silly now even more snow all oh my days let's close up we'll have to go stand by the fire in a minute warm up so yeah let's go and do let's do upstairs first because we can warm up at the same time so here's my uh, lovely fireplace there we go temperatures rising okay so we'll start at the top nothing much done at all very small mezzanine bedroom uh, I've managed to get a bed and a table in that was a big thunder Whoa, that shook the entire place. You want some shelter, buddy? This is... It said medium snow. How on earth is this medium snow? If you get caught out in this, you ain't lasting long. Simple. Alright, let's get it. Whoa! 
Oh, the weather on this in this game is so good. You really need to get some shelter built up really quick. So anyway, here's my fire. It acts as the campfire for sleeping as well. Um, and just a little bit of comfort here. And I will be upgrading this bit. You know, I'll put a, a polar bear rug or a snow leopard rug or something like that down. Probably the polar bear because you see the head on that one. Um, so that was upstairs and the little balcony at there um, out the back, out the front even. Uh, as we venture down, this will be the small uh, but functional kitchen area with our herbalism, salting bench, kitchen table and two ice boxes, both pretty much full um, of meats. So I won't need to, uh, to worry about that for any time soon. And as soon as they go bad, I, uh, I just chuck it in the deterrent. So win-win situation. Um, speaking of, there's some there. Um, so this one will be spoiling, ready to put in. And with the rest of them, I've made a butt ton of animal fat. So uh, food-wise, we're good. We're good. Uh, I will be getting soon, hopefully uh, the next couple of episodes, I want the pot belly stove. Um, actually, I might try and go for that today. And I also want the cement mixer today so I can get the concrete furnace so I can start smelting up the uh, all of the gold I've got, which, which is quite a lot. Um, I've managed to get all this gold so far um, ready for my electronics to make the wiring from. Uh, lots of silica for my glass to be coming as well. Uh, that's the same one. And we've got a load of copper ready. Not much iron left, so we'll need to look out for some iron. And I found some exotics as well. Always good to have. So that's the state of the ore at the moment. Still got the one uh, stone furnace. I really want that concrete furnace. That is what we're going for, um, ideally. Um, where else? Yeah, I've got the machining bench as well. The next big thing we needed was that one. Um, and everything else I think you already know. Textiles, masonry, carpentry. Another storage here with the carpentry and leatherworking bits and bobs in there and I will store some wood in there at some point. Got some vestiges ready to be mounted but haven't made the trophy um, trophy trophy desk or whatever just yet for that one. I'm just waiting for the polar bear head as well. So we've got stuff to be doing, we've got stuff to be getting on with. Um, I want to make as well where is it? The thermos here. Epoxy, glass and steel. So I've got the steel but I need the concrete furnace to make glass. I got loads of epoxy. Check out the epoxy. We're on 218 currently. All the bones I get, I make into epoxy every single time. And I got loads of tree sap as well and organic resins ready to go for the electronics. So preparation is key. We're doing really, really well. Uh, but I need that furnace so I can make the thermos so I can put it in my water slot and have some nice coffee or cocoa um, dripping uh, into my body so I can explore the Arctic even further. So this storm looks like it's letting up a little bit and if we look at the map, I did explore here uh, for a base, I thought it would be quite cool and there's a waterfall just around here um, so I built some stone stairs coming up um, and it was quite brutal, I almost perished because it, it was quite late at night, um, but it didn't wow me, the, the place, and that was a sudden stop. So we're not going to build up there, however there are two super cooled ice deposits as well. What was that? Nothing of mine smashing. No. Uh, because it's stone as well, we won't need to get the uh, the snow off the uh, of the roofs straight away. It looks quite good, so we're going to leave that for a while. It doesn't do uh, too much to the stone. If it was the wood, of course, I'd have to go and shovel that off. But we're o we're okay. Um, so all the exploration I will be doing as well for the time being will be all of this area. I'm going to go all the way around, check out all the caves, get all the deep uh, ores I can, and on that note, whilst I was over here, I did find a gold vein. So we've got a gold, we've got a platinum right here, 
And I think there was an iron one a little bit further up. Still haven't found a copper. Copper would be awesome. Um, and then I can just leave that going. I've got the gold, got a platinum. Just looking for that uh, copper. So we're on the lookout for a copper vein as well. But what I want to do in the meantime of getting that uh, concrete furnace, I'll go and check out exactly what I need for that. I never, You never know, I might be able to... Uh, to get it I just need this cement mixer as well is I want to go over this area of the grassland to try and get some coffee beans because you know or cocoa beans because you can't make it without the beans so we need to go and get the the mats for the coffee we need the beans um, I need the thermos and for that I need the glass working um, and I need the concrete furnace so there's lots to do just to get this this bad boy so I can explore the Arctic a little bit more comfortably uh, so let's have a quick look concrete furnace iron rope epoxy and concrete mix I can do all of that apart from the concrete mix so cement mixer I think I can do this yes I can make the cement mixer now so let's go and do that wood and stone refined wood over here is it 40 so we'll split lovely stone just needed a little bit to see all of this was from a few swings it's brilliant that lucky strike highly recommend getting it if you haven't got it already uh, nails I think I've got some in the forge I should probably make it a bit easier to get to no no nails in the forge where if I put them probably on the masonry bench considering I was making uh, so many stone walls yeah, there we go. That's enough. I uh, can't remember what else there was. Let's have a quick look. 20 iron and 8 rope. Rope, rope, rope. Plenty of rope. And iron. As in the other one. There we go. 20 iron. Okay. Yes, there we go. Cement mixer. There we go. So let's deploy that. Where are we going to put it? Here's a little beast. Uh, ideally, I would like it close to water as well because it makes it go better. Yeah. So let's put it. Let's put it about there for the moment. But we will do a, a work around at some point. So you can go just there uh, because these two can act as your water. Uh, source so we don't need to find water anymore um, there's enough water with the snow and the ice to fill these up I can always make another two and fill those up uh, so our water is a-okay I've got these three as well so we are winning with that so let's just check uh, yeah it's optional it just makes it go quicker and what is it silica stone silica stone and tree sap of which we have an abundance so let's make up a load the rest of the silica is in the other one so we'll go so need some silica for glass so we'll use that we'll go and grab a couple of our copious amounts of stone you'll do and some tree sap which we have an abundance of also I used wood and twigs for the, the tree sap. And let's max it out. 47. Right, so we'll let that brew. Uh, da, da, da. What did we need? We only need 20, so that's going. 12 iron, 12 epoxy. 18 there. Oh, I, I should put some labels up. I uh, only need 12 iron, there's 13 there. We need an iron run at some point. Uh, so I've got all of that left. I'll, I'll use all of that for this event, so I'll go and grab some more stone. Stone is of an abundance. So we'll make some more once that's done. So we're just waiting for the concrete to finish. 
And then I wanted my pot belly stove. Let's just type it in. Oh, it's not there. Is it the crafting bench? Where's my crafting bench? Oh, it's, uh. it's a pot, but yeah, there it is. So, what do we need for the pot belly? Oh, I can make that now. 40 and sit. Okay, so that's 40. Don't have much iron. So, 52 iron I need. Fifty-three. Perfect. And we've only got forty left. Iron run. Okay. Oh, and I needed copper. Can't remember how many. Nope. It's on the crafting bench. Come on, iron side. Okay, so let's make pot belly. Lovely. We're going to put that. I do also, inventory-wise, OCD-wise... Put all of that back because I'm not using that uh, once we've made the furnace and some more concrete we'll sort that out as well so where shall we put the pot belly uh, it doesn't need a chimney or anything let's just put it here for now next to the food it does need fuel of which I have plenty of coal I believe yeah, so we'll put that in just a sixer for the moment. Ah, we're going to get the, fur the thermos straight away. And then we just need to go and grind some, uh, hopefully, get some coffee. Oh, they've changed the, uh, the image. I think I preferred the other one. Uh, so, coffee, cocoa, keeps you warm, slows hunger, keeps you warm, boosts energy. Stamina regen, max stamina, food consumption. I'd probably go for the coffee then. Yeah, but I'm not too fussy. What about the tea? Water, health regen. That's not good. Uh, okay, fine. So we need to go find teas, coke, coke? No, we ain't getting coke. Coffee and cocoa. That's what I was going to say. But we need a thermos first. Might make a couple of thermoses up. Oh yeah, don't make a mess. 22, there we go. And let's put all the silica and all of that in. Right, what else is needed? Epoxy. Right, I'll just grab that and I'll put it back once it's used. Hey, yeah, buddy. Concrete furnace. I can get rid of that silly stone one now. Right, and then I'll put everything back because that is the crafting that is done. There's nothing in there, is there? There's one iron and some more coal. We'll put that straight into the furnace. We'll pick you up. I'm not one for having all of the things. I pick it up. And I destroy it. I'm not going to use it. But I can use the mats that it breaks down to. And you can be pride and place, young son. Right there. We'll chuck the coal in. Ready to go. Uh, I need to empty my inventory slightly so I can put all of that gold in. Pop you there. Let's get the epoxy back in here. Inve inventory management, baby. That's what it's about. Uh, we will then got bush, iron, nails. I'll put back over on the masonry bench. That's where they'll be for the moment. And the rest of that can go in here. Uh, wood we'll put on the carpentry bench. Where's it gone? Uh, that's for my spelunking. I've got three ramps ready now. Uh, that can go back in the cement mixer for storage. That'll go on the uh, deterrence. Oh yeah, I've made a shotgun. <laughs> I made the tier three shotgun and a butt ton of ammo as well, just in case 
you know, it goes south. I've got uh, some shotgun blasts to the face or sort everybody out. Um, I think that is everything. You're all caught up now. Shotgun. Um, of course, waiting for... There we go. Just get it loaded as well. Of course, waiting for the trench shotgun. That's a beautiful weapon. Uh, trench shotgun and the hunting rifle. Because um, that's where my talents are with the firearms. Cannot wait to get that started. Uh, but we need titanium. And for that, I needed the concrete furnace. So I can smelt it all, obviously. And let's get going. So we've got that in there. Let's grab all that gold. There we go. Gold wiring about to happen for electronics. And now we are really cooking on gas. Uh, da, da, da. I need some glass, of course. So we'll put three. Yeah, three of those in for some glass. Might actually put that first so we can get the thermos made. Uh, is that nice and neat? Yeah. We'll put the cement back in. Must be nearly done. Yeah, a few seconds left. And then we'll get the second batch cooking. We'll go and top up our deterrent. With these two deterrents as well, I am really not getting any predators come close to my base. Hardly any at all. And it's actually a little bit... It's a little bit boring and very, dare I say, I mean, you can see a snow leopard there, but that's as close as they'll come. It, it's a little bit easy, so I need to go out, I need to explore. Uh, we will be going off in that direction to find coffee, but this direction is where the gold and the iron is, and where the actual deep arctic is. But I would like my coffee or cocoa first to go there. Uh, we'll take the sickle with us, obviously, so we can then start a little, a little garden somewhere as well. Uh, what was I waiting for? Some glass. We'll get the thermos made. We may as well. Epoxy steel is already in there. May as well. Now I can make the electronics. Keep the epoxy on here makes more sense and as we're out exploring we'll obviously make sure to be hunting and gathering some more bones uh, da -da. i could even start a concrete build soon as well but let's not get ahead of ourselves ironside it's what you do um lots of copper wire well, gonna need more than that though uh da -da. where was i thermos glass only four that should be done yes we make a couple it's always nice to have a couple more steel I don't know if I have any more steel again we need an iron run so I can make some steel well we'll just do the one for the moment we've got the one and we need we need iron is a big, a big, 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 big one. So we need to find all the caves we can. You belong in there. Let's make the rest. 28 more. What are we low on? Silica. Okay. But we'll have 28 there. There's 28 more going. So that's a, a fair amount of cement to be starting with. Right, so let's just check. Are we A-OK -okay to go? Let's just check to see if we can make any food items to help. I don't think we can at the minute because we don't have any veg. What I will be going for is the fish curry for health. Where's that? That's soybeans and fish. Is it that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, soybean, animal fat, got loads of, and freshwater fillet. That's 225 max health and 15 regen and stamina regen. So that's going to be my max health one. And then I think it was the roast vegetables. Where's the roast vegetables? 
Fried chunky vegetables? No. Wasn't that one. Crispy bacon any good? Experience gain? Don't need that really now. Roast vegetables. 225 max stamina. So that's going to be my stamina slot. So I need all the vegetables, soybeans and fish. They're the two go-to ones that I, uh, I like to put in. Uh, and when we get the deep freeze, I'll have a deep freezer full of those meals. So we're going to need to do some foraging at some point as well. Uh, we may as well do that now, actually. Um, and it would be good to get a mower, so just to make things easier. So we'll leave that going. We've got water, which is now the purified water. So I do not now get dysentery, which is nice. Um, so that was filtered through the, the little tier one uh, ones, tier one ones. Got plenty of food, oxygen is half, that will last. Um, I won't need to fill that one up, although I think I will. <laughs> Just for some security, I'll, I'll, I'll top it up. Doesn't take long. And we've got plenty of it. So we'll get that filled up and then, what time are we on? 4.30, it's a little bit too late to be going into the the grasslands so we'll wait a little bit before venturing over there we'll do that the next day i'm pretty sure we should be able to find uh, find some um i i hope so let's make a plan in our head so we've got we're going foraging for some seeds some coffee some cocoa some soy some vegetables or is it carrot, pumpkin and squash or something like that? See what we can find. Now, if we can't find any of that over here on Prometheus, it is in abundance over on Olympus and Styx. But if we can't find any of it, there is obviously the option of getting it from the workshop. But I want to go and find it myself. Um, there are pumpkins actually in, in the Arctic here. So we can find pumpkin, it's squash and carrot. I think there's carrot in the grassland area. But I haven't seen any pumpkin. What's the mushroom? What's this one do? That's no. Mm. Because there's plenty of mushrooms in the caves here. That's health, not much added stamina. There must be another one we could do instead. Hundred stamina. It's not as good though, is it? Okay, what's that one? Rhubarb stew. Rhubarb, corn and wild berries. So we'll look out for that one as well. Minus 10 oxygen, water, salmon. Okay, okay. Rhubarb stew, not too bad. Fried chunky vegetables, plus 150 stamina. Kumara and pumpkin. Okay, so all the veg basically we're looking out for. Um, I do also want to make the alteration bench so I can put some modifiers on my uh, on my tools. How are we looking in here? Gosh. Yeah, we'll get the gold going now. Good. So two things nicely achieved. Uh, the concrete furnace, cement mixer, uh, three things, and the pot belly stove. You're done. Okay, we'll leave the silica that's left, um, because there's loads of silica still around. That's what the Arctic biome is actually really good for. Silica. <laughs> there's loads of it. Uh, I'm waiting for six o'clock so we can just go sleep through the night. Um, okay, I can see some. Let's go grab some more bone while we're waiting for that to happen. There we go, straight in the face. Now, I'm likely to have... Uh, yeah, there's a wolf. He's alerted. We quickly skin it before the wolf starts to come and invade. Because it is on hard, the spawn rate and their perception rate and everything is increased by quite a lot. So when you're away from your base, it gets difficult. So that's when you have to be careful. So that was a little... See, there's silica straight away. Three silicas here. There's loads all down there. There's silica in every cave we've been in. So, for a change, I'm not worried about finding silica. Because on Olympus, that's what I was really struggling to find. 
We may just get a little bit of that as well, actually, while we're waiting. The sunsets here are just gorgeous. Look at this. Gorgeous. Uh, so where are you? Six o'clock. So we can sleep through the night. Um, we'll grab... Was there another one? I thought there was a... No. All right. So we'll grab the silica that's just around here. Come on. I wish they would fix some of the optimization issues in the game. Because it's beautiful. It's such a great game. Look at it. I can get lost for hours easily on here. As you can imagine by uh, the hour-long recording for the last video. And then I stayed on after that to complete the, uh, the little house we've got there. Another one here. Not too bothered about being out this close to the base. Two other things I want to try during this se uh, season, series, whatever, that I haven't tried yet is the Thumper. Because we've got that massive cave over there, remember, uh, that was full of iron and gold. So I'm going to use the Thumper to keep that one spawning. But of course, it, uh, it does attract some... Uh, worms that we'll need to take care of so i haven't tried that out so i'd really like to try that and the geyser the water geyser because we've got one literally just over there so that's going to be fun to try and the the borer the ice borer the super cool ice because i want to make the um cold steel weapons where you get the frozen ore as well so lots of things to do that i haven't tried yet really excited to uh to get going as well see there's three more here S silica for days and then we can just pop the thumper down and we've got loads more it's it's easy when we get to the operations stage however that's where it's going to get difficult we're going to have to make sure we're prepared for that there's the sun coming over the, the mountain now we'll grab these two Every time I hear those blue backs, I'm like, holy crap, what is that? I do have one of the vestiges of the blue backs. Is there another one there? A blue back vestige I'm going to put up as well. Maybe for a little bit of vanity we get the trophy bench and uh, we put some of those up. Why not? Right, that, uh, that'll do, pig. That'll do. Let's get home. I need to sort some lighting out inside, as there is none. Uh, oh, I was going to say, I'm still reliant on my wood rag t uh, torch, but I don't have one of those either. So it's uh, ambient light and just knowing where everything is. There we go. Beautiful view. There we go. Quite glad sleeping isn't actually that quick, because uh, I enjoy sleeping. Right. Let's use all of that silica for some more concrete. Or shall I use? Yeah, we'll use that for concrete. So we need some more tree sap. And I've just got some bones so we can make some more. Nope, that's wrong. More uh, <laughs> epoxy. Tree sap's there. So we'll grab a couple more. And then just need to cut down a few trees and we've got more tree sap so we'll put that in we'll go and grab a few more lumps of stone so we can get that going while we're out and about may as well just grab a load we've got enough uh, we've still got some walls and that's enough there to be going with there we go oh a hundred beasted Right, so we'll let you brew for, what's that, 16 odd minutes. We've got the gold brewing up. That's going to be going for quite some time, but we've got enough fuel. And uh, we've got 5 hours and 46 minutes of fuel, so that's fine. So we'll have a nice load of uh, gold to come home to. And we can make some gold wiring. Then we can get on to crafting up some electronics, see how many we can get. Um, I might actually make a button more copper get that brewing while we're out as well so we'll use that 
so we can make loads and loads of electronics. Let's max it out. Good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. We're looking good. And then we see any caves, uh, which there should be some. Uh, we've got... We haven't looked at this bit yet for caves, and obviously we haven't gone over there. So if we find some caves, we want iron, copper and gold. Still only really at the moment uh, to get. We've got on us... Okay, we need to empty out our inventory a little bit. Glass. Where can I keep the glass? Yeah, let's just put it in here for the moment. Glass in there. We'll keep that for our caves. We need all of this. Uh, I could put that on the pot belly and... Yeah. I like to press the saw. It's got to be ordered. I really need to do this on Unshrouded to make sure my inventory is as good. Uh, let's cook up some more of those. Requires fuel. I thought I put coal in it. Hmm. Let's go grab some coal. Don't need that much. Uh, but we need to get some coal as well. Or I can just burn some wood to make the steel bloom. Steel bloom's simple to make. You just got to make sure you've got the iron. There we go. How's that looking? So I've got a bone. Uh, we'll put you in. Good. Get rid of that bone, and then we're going to head out. Okay. Now we are not looking good. I almost forgot my oxygen. That would have been a disaster. Now we're good. Campfire bedroll just in case we find a cave and we're out for a little bit too long. Heat bandage, bandage, suture, arrows, plenty of shotgun. Yep. Tools all A-OK. -okay. What if I got 17 stone there? I don't need that. Alright. Yep, now we're good. Let's go foraging. Here we are, venturing into the unknown, for me, uh, into the lovely pinky purple atmosphere over at uh, Prometheus. Now, on the way, I did manage to pick up some coal and I've got some bone uh, and I managed to find some pumpkins and pumpkin seeds. So, pumpkin-wise, we're all sorted. What's that? Stone. <laughs> okay, don't need any of that. Uh, salt. On the, the run up, ran past so much silica. So, building a nice cement build and glass build is peasy. Easy peasy in, uh, in the Arctic. Right, what have we got here? Berries. Okay, that's for the rhubarb stew. Lilies. I think they can be used medicinally. That's just fibre. So we'll get some of these for the medicine. We've got some seeds there. Excellent. Okay. Salt for salt. Let's get some more berries. That's a few berries, but we've got berry seeds. More importantly, we've got the berry seeds. How many berry seeds? Ten. Six pumpkin seeds. Okay, so ten is good. We're good for berries. What's that? Carrot? Carrot, yes. Four carrot seeds. Amazing. What's this? Oh, please be coffee. Please be coffee. Please be coffee. Coffee! Straight out the bat and four coffee seeds. Is this more? Oh, no. I saw, I saw the berry bush through the small tree and thought it was coffee. But we've got four coffee seeds, so we can grow a lot of coffee. We haven't had to venture far at all. I would love to see some uh, more vegetables, though. Don't need berries.
More coffee, obviously, would be uh, welcome as well. Just grow a, a surplus of coffee beans because they will not perish. We've got enough berries. Berries for days. What is this? What is this? Oh, <laughs> winning. Some more coffee seeds. Yes, eight coffee seeds. Okay, so we've got coffee, we've got carrots, we've got pumpkins. We're on the lookout for caves as well. Might get the deep ore scanner out in a minute and see what we've got. Now, wheat is also uh, really, really needed. So it's good to know that we've got a, a surplus here. Uh, we only need to get a little bit of that for seeds. We need that for animal feed and um, some alcoholic beverages, of course. Right, let's have a quick... Ooh! Corn! Wasn't on one of our recipes, but we'll grab it. So that's 16 corn seeds, they're berries. Not too bothered if we don't find any cocoa. Coffee was the one that I think is better. Not so bothered about the food because we've got loads of it. So the extra stamina and the energy that coffee gives us, I think is a better boost at the moment. Okay. So we'll have a little scout around the cliff face there for a cave. Keeping our eye out for uh, some other lovely vegetables. Soy being a priority because fishing will be easy we can just put a trap down in the lake and get all the fish we need so soy man that's dark in there oh speaking of may as well get some fiber and sticks uh, so I can make a torch So much more of it here than uh, in the Arctic. Can I make my torch now? Yeah, I can make it already. Okay, let's just open the... Sort that out. Not so bothered if the pumpkins go bad either. Because we've got the seeds. Right, let's have a look at the map. Where are we? Oh, we're still not too far away from the actual entrance. We'll get the scanner out, we'll head around in that direction, do a loop and come back. What have we got? Nowhere similar that is. I think there was an obsidian one as well. Uh, there was, there was an obsidian one in the Arctic. Oh dear. Platinum, there's one by base. Alright, so we'll keep... <laughs> remember that this radius, there's nothing. So let's head around. Oh, is that bees? Or is it just dead? It's just dead. Bees as well. I want honey. More wheat. Okay, we're not doing a wheat run though. Silica oxide for days. Also haven't seen that many. Oh, there's a there's an angry horse. Yoink! <laughs> Straight in the eye. Good shottings. Okay, bones. I'll probably destroy the meat, fur, and leather. It's just. Uh, Taking up space and something we have a plenty of back at base. What time is it? Half at 11. So looking good for time. Bit of a frame drop there, but never mind. We'll come a little bit further out. Loads of wheat. Excellent. Good to know. 
was that? There's a buffalo. Okay, good to know there's buffaloes down here as well. For all of our mining runs. And if we decide to move at some point, good to load them up. More corn. Soy, please. I want soy. Because if I find soy, I can then make a fishing trap. Although I need some platinum for that, but that's fine. I can make that now. Might actually start getting platinum and titanium as well. If I can find some soy, I can make the fish curry, which is one of the main ones. Another angry horse over there. Let's get a bit more coffee, eh? Why not? Keeping an eye out for any uh, anything that wants to uh, do me wrong. We'll get a shotgun blast to the face if they get too close. Okay. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Oh, Christ. Jaguar. Pay attention. Pay attention. Skin it before more come. The second most dangerous thing. What's the first? What is the first? Anyone know? Let me know. Jaguar was the second. Ooh. Hello. Oh, wow. This is a great little spot. Oh, it would be nice to have built something up there. This is kind of actually similar to, to the one here. We've got a waterfall there. And it's flat. And there's also a cave over there on the, in the Arctic one. Is that coal? Yep. We'll grab that. Can't see it. There we go. That's a lovely little spot. Good fishing spot. If you want to ever leave the Arctic for some reason, do some fishing. Could set up a little fishing hut right here. Do some fishing. Oh, that's an excellent idea. I'm going to do that. We're going to make a fishing hut right here. Can we get rid of that? Yes, that's mineable. We'll get rid of that. And we'll put it right at the back. Lucky strike. Won't take too long. Yes. We'll put it on the list. Buffalo's nearby as well. Good. Don't really want to take them out just yet. Don't need to. Kia's. Good to know if we ever run out of coffee that there's still an abundance of coffee right uh, outside our biome. Hello, Mr. Wolf. Oh, he dipped and it got him in the ass. There's some more coal. We'll grab that. Not having much luck with a cave at the minute. What was that? There's another Jaguar over there. Ever vigilant. Is that? No, there's not going to be a cave there. You can't get to it. There may be an underwater one. We're not going to look. I'll grab the coal. Iron. I really want some iron, please. Because we need steel of, as well to make our concrete walls in that. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful backdrop for a spot of fishing. get the scanner out in a minute as well. What's that? Aloe? 
Aloe vera. I'm not sure I need any of that. Come on, soybeans. I've got coffee for days. That will make exploring in our home, our homeland, much easier. Right, let's check for a cave along. Oh, there. That has to be a cave. Shirley. Yes, it is. Don't call me Shirley. Great film. No, it's not. Oh. I could have sworn it looked like a cave. Well, we'll go up and around. We'll get it to, like, here. Then we'll start heading back. And making up some coffee. anyone knows a good spot for me to go and try and find some vegetables maybe obviously a bit further up in this biome please let me know and we'll go off and have a look I could have sworn there was one maybe there's a, a secret wall no my eyes were playing tricks on me got a good amount of coal coming up as well. Now coal gets really heavy so I'm quite glad I've got the gatherer backpack. Swing and a miss. Keeping an eye out. Don't need salt. Loads of salt at home. I can't believe there's hardly any caves down here. Where are all the caves? What on earth made that noise? Oh, mower! I do want a mower. Okay, so we've got mowers down here. Is that another just random carrot? <laughs> Protruding from the rock? Yoink! can either hear a Terranus or a deer. Ah, it's one of those deer type things. God, those mowers make hell of a noise. Oh, did not make that jump. Right, well, we'll finish looking on this little plateau. Another bit of water over there. Is that, is that one of those Drax things? It's a, oh, it's a warthog. It's a boar. Whatever. Challa. Some more mowers. Still looking for a cave. Can't see any uh, secret wall either. No, there's not going to be one over there, is there? Surely not. Might have to take the mower out. They do get aggressive if you get quite close. And I don't really want one pecking down on my head. Yeah, keep walking. Wow. Go for it. Oh, there's another big one. The baby one obviously won't do jack. But have you just gone to get Mama? Keeping an eye on the top. Okay, yeah. Keep walking. Please be a cave somewhere. Oh! 
you're all right. That looks like a cave wall. Okay, so it wasn't all for naught. We've got some more coal there. We'll grab that. We'll just wait for you to keep going. Yeah? You want some? You've got a friend over there. Oh, you're just going to piss me off. Now your friend's going to come over. And I'll bake him for breakfast. Almost got another level, not that it matters. Oh, cock off. Inventory is full. So we're going to have to sort that out. Okay, obviously get rid of that. That. All of the meat. Do not need meat. Do not need leather. Or fur. Bone, yes. Coal, yes. Uh, we've got loads of... We don't need those. We technically don't need the pumpkins either. I can grow those. I can grow it all, so I don't need that. Got... Yeah, okay. So let's get rid of these. Gives me an excuse to start uh, getting the farm ready. That could be next episode. I want to keep the coffee. Lily seeds. We'll get rid of those. Well, that only gives us two rows for ore. Fine, we came out on a foraging... Oh, are you an angry mower? Yes, you're an angry mower. Because I didn't skin the boar. They're fine. I'll take that and I'll take that. Destroy everything else. Got to be quick. I can hear stuff in the background I don't like. Okay, fine. It's just the deer things and juvenile mower. You ain't going to do shit. The bone. Don't want any of that. Bacon is not in my recipe list. Okay. I've got a full torch, so I won't be needing that. It won't be one now. <laughs> yeah. And we're through. All the goodies await. Hello. Kenny Heenan Hilfen. I have. A, a, go away. <laughs> what do you want? Yes, I killed your mama. But she would have attacked me. Got to make sure we've actually got some room to get in. Is that enough? Not quite. We've got some floating rock. That's fine. I don't usually like making them massive because they can be a good place to hide. Uh, 
bears, for example, won't be able to get through. It's a worm straight away. Ooh. Missed. There is an ore of some sort there. Clay. What a worm vestige as well. Clay, yeah. Right, what we got? Iron. Coal. Coppers, coal. Iron. Arrow. Right, so we'll get all the iron and copper we can. We don't need any of the other stuff from here. How far does this one go? How, oh, I thought I was going to be stuck. Looks bigger than you think. That's what she said. Sulfur. I didn't bring my iron pickaxe with me, so... But there's loads. Maybe. Just maybe. Because we've got a fair bit of coal. We've got a fair bit of copper. We just grab the iron for now. Yep. Work from the front. We'll grab the iron. And then... What time is it? 10 to 4. Yeah, we'll head back. Right, so I'm going to do this. You don't have to watch it. I'll skip to when we get home and see what we can craft up. And here we are. Home sweet home. What a lovely sight to come back to. I just love the landscape of it. Yep, really, really, it's a good choice. I imagine there are better ones. I mean, we could go further up there, for example, and there would be um, some more bits and bobbins. That's the deep Arctic bit there. There's polar bears and stuff. But I like where we are. We're in a good spot. Um, we could make it more difficult and make another base over there. The only difficulty there would be, you know, it would be a little bit colder, but we, we're quite able to keep ourselves warm now. Um, so I'm not sure how much more difficult it would be. And these deterrents are doing a stand-up job. So, uh, ooh, I might get rid of the snow off the front porch there. Uh, but we'll get the iron cooking. That's a lot of... Okay, that's a lot of gold. So this is all of the iron I managed to get. I think it was all of it. Um, and I got a little cheeky bit of copper as well. So... It was a good run. We got loads of iron. We got loads of coffee. We got some seeds as well. Um, we've got gold made up ready for electronics. We've got the concrete furnace. We've got the cement mixer. We've got the pot belly stove. I can now make coffee uh, so I can explore the deeper parts of the Arctic more comfortably and go for that elusive polar bear head for the rug. Uh, so all in all, this was a successful expedition. Uh, I did take a little bit longer in the cave, so I had to spend the night. I did a sleepover, but that's fine. We took the stuff for that, so it wasn't an issue. Um, so I am going to clean the porch, and then I am going to get the gold making into some wire. I'm going to get the iron smelting down, uh, so I'm going to make some electronics and some steel, um, and then I think... I think I will go and get the titanium and platinum from the mine over here and one over there as well so I'll go and do that um, I'll do all of that off camera um, ready for the next episode for tomorrow uh, to, so tomorrow what will we be doing well I guess we may as well start building some sort of uh, farmstead greenhouse over there we can do that with our glass now so uh, I might go and make up a load of glass um, but I will need that connected to water to make it strong enough to survive the weather so I'll need to make the water pipes so I'll need platinum for that okay so lots to do that's all in next next episode getting ahead of myself uh, we'll do the sign off thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed it if you did please make sure to like and subscribe hope it's giving you the urge to play this amazing game if you do ever want to join me in this world of course you can uh, we can do that through steam and the peer-to-peer -peer. happy to have anyone who would like to join thanks all uh, again for watching take care and we'll see you next time